This is chunky. <laughs> I could do weight lift with that. I don't need the gym anymore. Just start using the literature boxes. <laughs> Hello, friends, wizards, witches, and muggles. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing really well today. I've got a very exciting unboxing. This is like my favorite box of all time. Today, I'm going to be unboxing the Lit Joy Crate Magical Edition. Year 7.2. This is the last one in this series, so I am pumped. I'm so excited for it. If you're brand new to my channel, hello, welcome. Don't forget you can click the subscribe button if you like to come part of our weird, magical online family. But ah, oh, look at it! Ah, <laughs> oh, okay. Okay then, let's get on with the unboxing, which is what you've all been waiting for. Now this has been sent to me for free to review for you guys. Can we talk about this beautiful artwork? It matches what I'm wearing that was not planned. <laughs> so let's have a look. So this is the final box in the year's boxes um, that they've been doing. It's year 7.2, so the second half of the Deathly Hallows. We have got Harry and Voldemort on the front. Voldemort with his red eyes, very true to the book rather than the films. We have got uh, the Golden Trio, which is riding the dragon from Gringotts, which is pretty cool. Uh, we have got many peoples on this side with the, um, the little golden snitch, which Dumbledore gave with the thing, the thing. I'm being very technical today. Um, <clears throat> thank you. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to try that side again? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, things! <laughs> Can you imagine? This is the thing is done. On this side, we have got multiple people, which I'm guessing is Harry, Lily, James, and Sirius. Um, we've also got the golden snitch, which says I like, open at the close, and it's got the resurrection stone hiding inside there. We've got young Snape and Lily that says always and the Patronus, the dough with the memory vial. Oh, love a good memory vial. And then do we have got Dumbledore's sister here in the portrait. I'm guessing that's Neville's cheeky little hand sneaking around there. And then on the bottom, which is like the sad part, <laughs> here lies Dobby, a free elf. <laughs> oh, okay, let's just dive straight in because seriously, this box is chunky. It's, it's a very big box, very heavy. I just know it's gonna be filled with really awesome things. Um, do I even need my knife for this one? Oh, yes, I do. There is a little bit of tape. Uh, again, managed to avoid... Oh, oh, I've missed something out. I haven't told you. I've also got a cheeky box of add-ons here. And I got sent this other box as well, which I think is one of their bigger add-ons. So we've got a lot to get through. So buckle in, go get a snack, grab your pet, grab your wand, grab whatever you need. Because uh, this is going to be a very jam-packed, filled video. Okay then, my first time opening the 7.2 crate. Do, 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 do. <laughs> is this the cheat sheet or is this a replica? Is that a cheat sheet? I think it's a cheat sheet. I'm not looking. I'm gonna get cameraman Chris to check if it's the cheat sheet. Is it the cheat sheet? I can't tell because their cheat sheets always look like works of art. Oh yeah it is. Okay, no oh, looking. Is. You can hold on to that. We'll look that look at that at the end. Okay then, so here is your cheeky sneak peek. There is a lot of purple wiggly worms. We've got a little cheeky bag there. We've got boxes. Oh, we've got a box that looks really special in here actually. I feel as though this box is going to blow my mind. It's kind of like, because uh, it's the last one as well. Um, I have high hopes. Okay, this has my attention. This looks like a very special box indeed. Oh. You know, it's special, it's got a magnetised little, ooh. As if this is the first thing that I'm opening out of this box. <laughs> what? Okay, I'll, I'll show you, I'll get it out. What? <laughs> this is a, oh, Lit Joy, what are you doing to me? Uh, like, uh, this is a, I, I'm trying really hard not to swear here. Um, this is a crystal vial. It's a crystal vial and inside, oh, I want to cry. <laughs> I'm not gonna cry, but I want to. It says always, it, look how stunning that is. Oh my God, I'm kind of like <laughs> emotional, speechless. And that, like, what? This is in a subscription box. Look how fancy this is. It's like something by Swarovski. Oh my goodness. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it speaks for itself. Look how glorious this is. 
blown away. Um, this is why Lit Joy is at the top, really, isn't it? Look, first thing out of the box as well. Oh, Snape. I was about Snape, Snape, Sarah, Snape. Oh, that's very inappropriate when we're talking about a memory bar. Um, that is beautiful. Um, oh, blown away. Ah. Uh, okay, I want to say this is going to be my favourite thing in the box, but that's never the case when it comes to lit drawing. Um, that's really special. Like, almost too special to put on the potion shelf. I don't know. It's, it's probably going to live on there, but... Oh. Okay, that's probably the best start to a subscription box ever. Um, <laughs> wow, okay. I don't think I'm ready. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, this has got my attention. It looks kind of mug shaped. So on here we've got the Hufflepuff cup, which is one of the Horcruxes, which is found in uh, the vault in Gringotts. So it says, beware. The goblins of Gringotts cast many spells to protect the items found in their vaults. This mug, ha, huh, I knew it, may multiply if handled and can get quite hot. Dishwasher and microwave safe, this LitJoy exclusive mug was designed by Anastasia Lavru. Oh, very nice. Oh, and we've got uh, the vault door on the top there. Let's have a look. And we've got some coins on this side. Ugh, like, just their boxes are gorgeous. Ugh. Okay. Oh, very nice. I've already seen a very nice touch. Okay, so let me just... Yeah, that you weren't expecting an ASMR on my channel today. Um, wow, this is beautiful. I want to take photos of this. Firstly, can we talk about the Hufflepuff cup that is at the bottom of the mug? Um, beautiful. Uh, this is stunning. We've got diagonally all around it, which is beautiful. And then in the centre of it, we've got Gringotts Bank. Um, with, with the golden trio on the dragon, that's so cut fun. Um, this is really, really nice. Uh, it's very nice that it's dishwasher safe as well. It's not metal, it's one of the china type mugs. It's really kind of high end for a mug. The artwork looks beautiful. Um, it's, yeah, it's just high quality as you would expect from Lit Joy. Um, stunning. This is really nice. I don't want to use it to drink out of. I kind of want it as like the ultimate pen pot or something. Though it would be a good size for hot chocolates with a load of squirty, squirty, squirty cream, <laughs> squirty cream, or whipped cream, whatever you want to call it, uh, and marshmallows. Mm. So that's really lovely. Oh, I just want to stare at it. That artwork's really nice. Very nice. Oh my god. Two wonderful starts to the box. Let's, okay, I have just seen a box that has like celestial patterns all over it. And I have to get this out. Okay, so this is the front of the box. It's got lots of stars on it. And on this side, it says, if you have to ask, you will never know. If you know, you need only ask. What is inside? Is it gonna be um, diadem themed? Is it gonna be room of requirement themed? This is very pretty. It's very, this is the last diadem, and it's a mirror. It's really heavy as well. <laughs> oh, it's got a it's got a nice velvet back so that you can put it down on a table. Wow, um, <laughs> like hello. This is. I wish I was a Ravenclaw. Look how beautiful this is. Um, oh, sorry, this box is like blowing. My, I'm just speechless. I'm just everything I'm pulling out. I'm just like whoa. whoa. <laughs> Um, yeah, so it even says on it, wit beyond measure is man's greatest treasure. Um, it's really pretty. All, there's so many diamonds, like, oh, it looks expensive. It feels like it's, it's weighty. It's not like, yeah, it just feels really, is it made out of metal? I think it is. Like, they don't cut any corners with, um, quality, that's for sure. Wow. And the box it comes in. Oh, what do we think about this little mirror? I mean, feeling cute, not gonna lie. <laughs> wow, I, I'm gonna have to display that somehow. It's really, it's really nice. I never know what to do with hand mirrors, but it's, it's very, very beautiful. I'm like a niffler right now. 
I'm just like, so shiny, so sparkly, diamonds, ooh. Wow, okay, mind blown. Okay, so the third item is also made me speechless. They have like gone out with a bang with this series. Like they've made this box amazing. Okay, let's pull this out. We have got a candle, which looks very, it looks very Phoenix, but I don't think it is. Blazing fire, peppery citrus and dark magic. Say anything studio. Let's have a smell. <sighs> oh, it does smell nice. It's kind of like orangey. I can definitely smell the pepperiness. So yes, this candle is actually named Fiend Fire. I think I've pronounced that right, but that is the fire that I believe can um, destroy a Horcrux and in the Room of Requirement in the movie is what's when Draco's in there and everyone's like, oh my God, it's a really scary scene actually. I don't like fire, I used to be terrified of it, so. But that's a really cute candle. It smells really nice. I'm not sure about the label, but it smells good. And it's a tall, it's, a, it's an interesting shape for a candle as well. I like that it's layered in different colors. It's not just one. It's very nice indeed. Okay, uh, I'm saving what's in the, um, the bag, the mystery bag at the back till last. Um, though this has my attention. Oh my God. I thought, oh, it's just a tube. No, they've got art that's printed on here of when Harry's talking to Dumbledore. So it says, so it's true, isn't it, sir? A part of him lives inside me. And then Dumbledore said, did. It was just destroyed many moments ago by none other than Lord Voldemort himself. You were the Horcrux he never meant to make, Harry. I have to go back, haven't I, said Harry. Oh, that's up to you. Harry said, I have a choice. Dumbledore said, oh yes. We're in King's Cross, you say. I think if you so desired, you'd be able to board a train. Harry said, and where would it take me? And Dumbledore says, on. And then there's a little silhouette. But if you look carefully, at, um, it's just like the scene in the film where it's really white and it's just Harry and Dumbledore in, um, it's kind of like ghosty King Cross Cross. This is a stunning way to present a print. This is very, very fancy indeed. Let's see what this print is of then. If I carefully get it out. That's just beautiful. Like, I don't want to throw that away, it's stunning. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Can you see that very well? Oh, it is Harry and Voldemort and their magic is linked in the middle. So that's them having their kind of last battle, um, which is cool. Uh, I still like laugh at when Voldemort dies in the film. So he just kind of turns into confetti. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's a really, the artwork, like the artists that they've chosen for that, like that is a skillful painting. Really, really beautiful. Maybe it's a drawing. I'm not sure what medium it would have been done in originally, but that's gorgeous. The artist in me could never. <laughs> that's really, really pretty. It's, there's a lot of detail. I can see Ron and Hermione in the background as well down there. Very nice. Oh my goodness. <sighs> okay, let's put that back in here. I mean, that's just beautiful. I, oh, everything just feels so luxurious. <laughs> okay, oh, we've got some socks. We've got some Molly socks. Okay, so it says, not my daughter, you beep. In fact, they've put a sticker of Molly over the swear word. I think it will probably say the naughty word underneath. So these are Sunday socks. What pattern? There's the W on there uh, for Weasley and they look knitted. I don't want to take them out of their packet, but they feel quite nice. And it definitely looks like it's something from the Weasley household. And of course, that is one of the iconic quotes by Molly Weasley. Probably my favorite thing she says, because it's like, oh, very nice. I do love a good pair of socks and their socks are always quite lovely. I think my favorite pair from them is the dirigible plum dirigible plums <laughs> yeah Ooh, love a good wearable oh my god you what okay there okay what's left we've got something in a mystery bag which i might leave till last we've got this which feels really special which says until the very end on it i'm not sure what's inside there yet and then 
I was like, and last, we've got this. It's like, no, there's loads of stuff underneath. Look. <laughs> um, oh, okay. Let's talk about these. Okay, so let's open it on up. Oh, it's a photo album. It is, it's a beautiful photo album. And this is the front of it. This looks really like Lux. It's got foiling on it, which you guys know that I love. Um, which almost looks like it's in the shape of an owl. Now I think this is meant to be a replica of Harry's photo album with his parents in it. It's really, really nicely made and oh, I could put my family pictures in there. Not that I have many photos with my family, which needs to change. But yeah, so you can insert all of your memories and it's really nice. It's gold foiled, it feels high quality. It's got a good amount of pages in there. <sighs> Okay, let's, I'm gonna save the other two things for a moment and we are going to go through some of the paper replica type things. I'm just gonna get these all out of the box. Oh my God, there is so much stuff in here. I can't deal. Okay, let's put this to one side. Seriously, look at all these things. <laughs> okay, so um, we have got one of the collectible uh, LitJoy cards, which they have in a lot of their crates. Uh, so this is the back. This has got Harry with all of the Horcruxes in. It's kind of like shiny, it kind of feels magical as well. I personally don't collect these, but they are very pretty and really nicely made. And I always appreciate having a little bit of a nosy. What is these? A little bookmark, you say? looks bookmark shaped. Let's open it on up carefully. Pull it out. Oh, oh. I mean, they've made Neville really hot. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Longbottom. <laughs> uh, and we've got Nagini on the other side. Yeah, they've made him really attractive, which is like, makes me feel a little bit weird about Neville, but he's holding the Godric Gryffindor sword, um, and it's obviously during the Battle of Hogwarts because he's all battered and stuff. Really nice, they've got some great artists. Very, very nice indeed, we like. Um, this is made out of card, um, not card, sorry, um, wood. It's a wooden bookmark and it's um, high quality printed on both sides. Like I cannot see a single pixel, which is pretty cool. So I'm gonna pop that back in its little say goodbye to sexy Neville. Uh, <laughs> made it weird. Let's have a look. We have got some of their iconic bookmarks. These are the magnetic bookmarks and we have a set of three this time. And we've got Dumbledore with Forks the Phoenix on it over here. We've got Snape in the middle who looks very adorable. And then we have got Ariana Dumbledore over here. Very, very cute indeed. I've got so many of these now, <laughs> but the artwork's very, very sweet. And they are really useful because they kind of magnetize over a page and it will never fall out of your book when you're reading. I have just seen the cutest vinyl sticker that they have included of Luna's Spectra Specs. <laughs> okay, so this is advertisements for uh, join the Lunacorns membership community and you can enjoy full access to their private Lunacorns Facebook group exclusive sneak peeks. Early access to select new release products, Lunacorn only exclusive items, that's very cool, extra deals and 100 reward points in your LitJoy Crate account. Um, and you can find out more at litjoycrate.com slash lunacorn. So I think this is just an advertisement, but it's a really nice vinyl sticker, which is absolutely going on my laptop because um, the sticker that I have of the Spectre Specs has kind of been scratched a lot. So I'm very pleased about that. Okay, let's carry on with, ah! Sorry, just seen this. This looks very special. It looks like, look at this. It's like, mm. okay, let's undo this. It's got one of those really special things that you undo. I think this is gonna be like a set of artworks. Oh, it is. Oh, look, oh my, oh, these are the photos that can go in the photo album, maybe? I mean, that's probably not what they planned, but they so could. 
they are all snapshots that have been beautifully drawn. So this one, it says, Me and my Godfather Sirius at Grimmauld Place, 1995. Oh my God, this is like emotional. Then we have got here, Teddy's birthday. So it's Tonks and Remus Lupin, their first family photo in 1998, April 10th. That's five days before my birthday. Then we have here Weasley wake up call, seeing if Ron remembers Arania X. Oh wow, I'm really bad at pronouncing thing things. Arania Exumai spell. Ha. Uh, 1996. <laughs> then oh, this is very sweet. My two best boys, James and Harry, Godric's Hollow, 1981. Oh look. <laughs> My feels, my feels. And then it says, my best mates, Luna, Neville, Hermione, Ginny, Ron and me, Hogwarts 1997. Sweet. And then the last one here says, Alba Severus, first year, platform nine and three quarters, September 1st, which is back to Hogwarts Day, 2017. So that's Harry and Hermione. Oh, look. So cute, so cute, so cute. Um, I feel like I've stolen someone's family photos, even though they're illustrations, but that's really nice. And this is special, like the fact that you could see through the envelope before opening it. It's those little details that kind of fill me with a lot of joy when it comes to lip joy. I'm gonna, which one do I want? I'm gonna put that one at the front. Boop. So cute, like that a lot. I'm gonna put that with the photo album. Okay, we have got some more collectible cards in here. Let's take a little look. Okay, so we have got number four, which is my favorite number, Dobby with the cake from the Chamber of Secrets. And he's got those wearing socks there. Um, we've got Neville, I believe, sexy Neville, holding uh, what I believe to be a mandrake. And then we have got Tonks and Lupin, who look very attractive, again. We've got Bellatrix, and then we have Voldemort. So that's quite nice. I mean, maybe I should start collecting these. They feel really nice. They're like soft cards, very smooth. So that's a nice little set of those. Uh, we've got this cool little sticker here, which is one of my favorite parts of um, the movie. It says, uh, it's got McGonagall there. In fact, her, her robe that she's wearing has all of the statues that protect Hogwarts in the Battle of Hogwarts. And it says the spell, and it says, I've always wanted to use that spell. So that's a nice little sticker, a little extra. And then here we have got a letter, which is to Padfoot. Let's have a little look-see. Wow, okay. Ah. Oh, my feelings. <laughs> Oh, they've even got a photo in there of Lily, James and Harry, and it's Harry riding um, <laughs> a broom and he's holding a wand. That is so cute. It looks like it's been ripped before. This is the letter um, from Lily to Sirius, and look at how gorgeous this is. I have seen a replica of this before, but not this in depth and like it looks really nice the presentation is really nice so it says dear padfoot thank you thank you for harry's birthday present it was his favorite by far one year old and already zooming along on a toy broomstick he looks so pleased with himself i'm enclosing a picture so that you can see you know it only rises about two feet off the ground but he nearly killed the cat and he smashed a horrible vase Petunia sent to me for Christmas. No complaints there. Of course, James thought it was so funny. Says he's going to be a great Quidditch player. He knew. But we've had to pack away all of the ornaments and make sure we don't take our eyes off him when he gets going. Uh, we had a very quiet birthday tea. Just us and old Bathilda who has always been sweet to us and who dotes on Harry. We were so sorry we couldn't come, but the order's got to come first and Harry's not old enough to know it's his first birthday anyway. James is getting a bit frustrated, shut up here. He tries not to show it, but I can tell. Also, Dumbledore's still got his invisibility cloak, so no chance of little excursions. <laughs> if you could visit, it would cheer him up so much. Wormy was here last weekend. I thought he seemed down, but that was probably the news about the McKinnons. I cried all evening when I heard. Bathilda drops in most days. She's a fascinating old thing with the most amazing stories about Dumbledore. 
I'm not sure he'd be pleased if he knew. I don't know how much to believe, actually, because it seems incredible that Dumbledore could ever have been friends with Gellert Grindelwald. I think his mind's going, personally. Lots of love, Lily. And it's all been, like, it's all, like, handwritten. And that is super cute to include with this letter. Oh, so many feels in that item. Okay, we've got three things left. Uh, we've got just a little extra thing in here which is the last page in the Harry Potter books, which is all blurred out except the three final words, which says, all was well, which we all know as, yeah, it's pretty iconic because that's where the story ended. That's how it feels, by the way, to <laughs> to be a glasses wearer sometimes and not be able to see. Uh, very random. Okay, so which one shall I open first? I'm gonna leave this small one till last because I feel like it's gonna be quite special watch it not be special now <laughs> i'm kidding um okay so we have oh okay together they make one master of death <sighs> okay tales of the three brothers um deathly hallows that is the coolest way to display a pin i've ever seen okay so this is a magnetized box like that's very special. And then inside we have got the Deathly Hallows. <laughs> we have got the Resurrection Stone in the middle and it's surrounded by the Invisibility Cloak. And then in the middle you have got the Elder Wand. That is the coolest thing I've ever seen. Like the way it's displayed. It's not just on a backing card. Like the thought that's got... Didn't mean to slam it. Didn't mean to... I haven't broken it. <laughs> The box itself is uh, made out of wood as well. It's been painted and it's like velvet inside. This is a very special pin display. I've never seen anything like it, especially coming from a, a magical crate. Really, really special. Blimey, okay. Last but not least, it says until the very end. Ah, <sighs> okay. I'm not ready. I'm not ready for this to end, though I know that we've got the add-ons to go through as well. is so pretty look closely into the stone to see the names of those that accompanied harry until the very end oh look it's oh my god puts a necklace to begin with it's a keychain it's so pretty uh, it's meant to be the resurrection stone i think or in shape of but it's absolutely beautiful. It's this gold keyring, which again, feels very luxe. This whole box feels really luxurious. That's so cute. I've never seen anything like that. That's so nice. And it does have a stone in it as well. It's very nice. Very pretty. Sorry, I mesmerized by it. But yes, yeah, so that was the last thing in the crate. Okay, let's have a quick look at the cheat sheet. Now, I've mentioned it before, their cheat sheets are so in depth and like works of art. Look at this, we've got Daily Profit. This is their cheat sheet. <laughs> oh, wow! We would be here forever if I read it all. I personally like to take these to my room the day after filming Lit Joy Crates and spend like good time reading everything in depth. It's one of my favourite things. Um, but yeah, how cool is this? It actually looks like a daily profit. So yeah, we've got everything in here. Like, this is like insane. The amount of detail they go to. <laughs> It's not just a sheet listing stuff. They've gone in depth. They talk about why they've chosen it, what everything's made out of, all the references. It's just so special. So I'm gonna read that later. Wow, mind blown. Okay, let's get on to the add-ons. Now, just for full transparency, I have seen these add-ons before, but let's open them on up. Okay. Some of these are so, so nice. I don't know if you can still get these, but definitely check the LitJoy website to see if you still can. Personally, this is my fave. This is a Beaubaton bag. It's a velvet bag and it's got embroidery of a Beaubaton logo that they've designed. I just love Beaubaton. It's like my favorite and I, would, I think I would definitely like to be part of that school just for the uniform. But how stunning is this? This is definitely gonna become one of my travel bags. So, so pretty. Love, love, love. Yeah, go see if these are still available. They might be. I saw these advertised on their Instagram quite a bit and I was like, 
looking at them like oh need so yeah a little bow bet on cheeky moment what else we've got a candle in here which looks like a potion it looks like veritas serum and it says wizard Apo apothecary it smells like truth and dark secrets um oh, if that's what the truth smells like it smells so good i can't explain what it smells like but it's delicious. Litjoy candles, the smells are always amazing. Their love potion one from a, a few crates ago smelled so good. It smells like oranges. It's one of my favorites. Um, oh, it smells so good. Look how cute it is though. Like the aesthetic of this is gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, we have got a special little box in here. A stunning necklace and it's got the chapter stars and it says all was well which is the last three words which we've just discussed but yeah how special is that it's really high quality oh, I've just put a fingerprint on it either way gorgeous um, a very nice necklace indeed then we've got the Potter watch keep each other safe keep faith um, pin in fact I think it might be a special pin. This is by Oddment and Tweak. They have designed this exclusively. Oh, it is, it's an interactive pin. We can tune the radio. Um, oh, it says Albus and Sirius Moody. Um, that's so cool. That's really, really cool. Spinny, spinny. Um, yeah, it's a hard enamel pin. It's just really nice. Very cool very cool uh two more things in here we have got a mug which you are going to lose your mind over because if you can't tell from the box what style it's gonna be and it's another china one we have got <laughs> the black family tapestry on there and it's just a black mug uh it's the same size as the one we had out of the crate today um but that's so nice oh my god and I don't need more Potter mugs, but this is very nice. It's a very nice one, very special. And then we have got a notebook and we have had this design, uh, which is done by Holly Dunn. We have had this design on one of the book sleeves in the past, I believe, um, but this is like a full notebook and it's even got some pages inside, but it's, it's a ruled book, but these are always really, really nice. Look at that. Tale of the Three Brothers, really, really cool. Um, and it's foiled as well, nice and special. Okay, for the finale, we have got another one of the really impressive and um, special light boxes. When I first saw this, I was like, oh my God, their first one was impressive. And this one is just beautiful as well. Like, look, but they're stunning. I've got a couple of these now and I, I definitely need to figure out a way to kind of display them all in the future on a wall and get them all to light up at the same time because that would look glorious. Okay, so if there's any charge in this. Ah, magic. There we have it. Oh my God, it's the mirror of Erised. It's got Harry and looking at Hogwarts. It's like me just change that to me that's what i would see in the mirror vera said it's so beautiful <sighs> okay nox and lumos so that's ah uh, this feels like christmas with lit joy every time i i refuse to pick a favorite from today i think oh i don't know i mean this was pretty special um, but so was everything else. I'm kind of like, uh, don't let me choose. Yeah, this was definitely special. Um, the first thing that we took out of the box. Least favourite. I'm not going to bother because I love everything. Uh, what was your favourite from this box? Do let me know in a comment and I will make sure to reply to some of those too. But wow, okay. I don't know how to end this because I'm feeling very overwhelmed with all of the things. Oh, uh, okay. I'm going to go. I'm surrounded by so much stuff. Um... Okay, I hope you're well. Bye. Oh my god. <clears throat> That's how you do a crate. <laughs>